So hey guys, I know it's been a really long time since I made a video and you know, school started, it's a lot of stuff going on. So I haven't had much time to film anything, but I wanted to make sure on this one day off that I have this week, that I made it a priority to do a bunch of videos. So you're probably gonna see me in the same makeup and hair and shirt for the next two or three weeks depending on how quick i can get these videos up but anyways this video we're going to talk about this beautiful beautiful gorgeous wig and this is a wig from the sister company of rpg show and it's by my first wigs and this is the box and everything that it came in and i've done a review on a my first wig one and it was the alex wig it was the 20 inch pure silk straight wig and i love that wig i've been wearing it. y'all know if y'all follow me on social media y'all know that's probably my favorite wig but this one that i have in is probably topping that for one because it's colored and i love colored hair and i've never really had i've had red hair my natural hair but I've never really, you know, messed around with any colored hair like this. So I was really excited to try this. So I'm just going to go into the basic details of the hair. Or I'll go into the box first since it's in my hand. So this is the box that it comes in. And it comes in a pretty sturdy, you know, box. So you know it's not going to get all bent up and things in the mail. And it ships via DHL. It takes exactly... Well, it... It tells you on the website how long it'll take, like if you're getting a color treated hair, if you're getting like a curl pattern or something like that, they tell you how long it normally takes. But this was the longest, um, like the process for this kind of hair and stuff, they said it was the longest, it'd be like seven days, but it actually came here in six, so that was pretty good. And um, every time you order from there, they have a little thing on their page and it's like you know sign up and get a free wig kit and since this is like a beginner's wig company they make they want to make sure you have everything so it's always really beneficial to sign up for the kit and the kit comes with a stand and i'm not going to show y'all because i'm actually using my stand i don't have to get up and do a bunch of stuff but it comes with that and then it comes with this little baggie and in this baggie you open it up. It has everything that you'll need if this is your first wig. It has an instruction book and you know it has just a picture of everything that's in the kit. It comes with a really nice little um grass tail comb. It comes with some amazing bobby pins. I love these bobby pins and I can't find any like them. But they sell them individually on their website. So if you love them like I love them, you'll just buy them like that. Um, it comes with two duck clips to just lay your hair down. And it comes with an elastic band in case you want to like triple extra secure your wig. It comes with that. So you just sew that in there. It also comes with wig caps sorry this stuff is like everywhere it just comes with two wig caps and it comes with a travel bag and this is actually what the hair comes in it, it says my first wigs quality wigs for beginners and this is like your little travel bag your storage bag basically um so when you're done wearing your wig or you just want to put it up because you know it's been out this is a nice airtight bag to keep all the bacteria and everything out of your hair so this was like a this the kit itself is like a really nice thing to have so i definitely suggest if you're going to get one of these wigs please sign up and get the kit i mean it's free it's not like they're saying pay for me but that is all that what was i looking for oh the spec card <laughs> where is it at sorry okay and it comes with a little card that just lets you know full details of the unit has your order number on here and i'm just gonna read y'all what i got i got one barba 100 percent barba barbara it's a name whatever 100% Malaysian hair, sexy ombre, wavy lace wig. That is a big name. 
Um, the hair color is same as pictures, so this is how the model had it. And I don't know how it's coming off to y'all, but, um, like, different, I guess because it's handmade and the colors is going to vary. But I know when I watched on YouTube, a girl had more of a deep, deep burgundy. And then another girl had more of a red, but, you know, it's all from the same wig. But I don't know, I'm not going to go into detail about that. I mean, I like the wig personally sometimes it looks um like a bright red but most of the time it just looks kind of like how y'all see it on camera just like a nice deep red um let's see 20 inches the texture is silky the lace color is light brown the cap size is one the wig color is nude and the cap construction is glueless lace cap and that's basically like the full detail on this and I actually, with this wig, I wanted to play around more with it. Because I I don't, when I get wigs, I just put them on. I don't really have the time or the patience or I just really don't care to, like, go in the wig and pluck hairs and the hairline and do all this stuff. I never really did that. So, spur of the moment thing just happened this morning before I filmed this video. I decided I was going to make baby hairs pluck the the part because I always wear a middle part I just decided to change it up for this video but um I plucked the middle part I cut some baby hairs I actually used the elastic band because my best friend named Vorian shout out to her because she makes wigs she's really good if y'all you know don't want to pay a bunch of money for a good quality wig go to Ivorian she's pretty reasonably priced but anyways um what was I saying? Oh, yeah. But, yeah, she um, uses the elastic band method. And I've seen people using it. You know, like I said, I'm just lazy. I just don't think, ugh, I don't want to do that. You know, that's just my mindset about everything. I don't want to do it. So, this morning I decided I'm going to do it all. And if you want to see pictures, I guess I can insert pictures somewhere in the video where um, I pluck the hairline. and just, I'm not the hairline, but the middle part and how much better it looks. And how excited I was because I was like, oh, wasn't expecting it to be like this. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, somebody's texting me. Um, But basically, I washed the wig yesterday. And, you know, that's one of my things which I found to be with a lot of wigs. It's like once it comes out of the package, because I think I wore it straight out the box when I got it. And was wearing it like that for like three or four days. Then I curled it because I was going out. And I noticed when I curled it, it starts to get a little frizzy. And I don't know necessarily what that meant. Maybe it's because I had it on too high. Curled it on too high. I always I always do anything heat related to any type of hair on 390. I never go higher than that because I'm just scared it's going to mess something up. But it got a little frizzy. So I was like, well, maybe I should wash it, you know, before I do the video. And I, it tamed it pretty well. I guess, you know, it's just hair. It's going to do that. But I curl wand it with my new me. Like, it's like a super skinny curly wand. And I don't know. I was I woke up at 3 this morning and decided I was going to be super duper productive. And I did everything I could to this hair. And then I knocked out. That's why I'm filming so late. So I'm kind of mad at myself. But anyways, it's a different story. Um basically excuse my baby hairs because i don't know where my baby hair brush is and i'm pretty sure i know who has it but the reason that it's not in the vicinity of my filming area makes me very angry because i don't know where it is now my baby hairs look crazy but anyways so none of this is glued down and these are all my baby hairs because the baby hairs just weren't laying right like they look good in the middle part but with this little hairstyle, they were just bothering me. So, um, yes, all this, all this through here is my hair. All that. And don't pay attention to this side because I really didn't give it this any effort because it's going to be covered up, obviously. And then all this, you see, is the cap. Now, one thing I must say that I was super pleased about with this the elastic band method, never tried it. Girl, if you have not tried it, you are missing out. Because 
the glue, uh, the glue and the got to be and da 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 da, da I don't know about y'all, but I had a bad experience with the front of one time and I ain't had no edges after that and it took me a while to get the, well it didn't really take me a while, I was just scared because I love my edges, I have the best baby hairs in the world and I was so, so sad when they, when I basically took my hair down and I was like, ah, oh, because you know all that glue and stuff, it just ate away at my edges so bad. So... I've been looking for a method to kind of like not have to substitute that even if it's with um got to be gel or something I just it's too much your hairline is the weakest part of your hair so you don't want to be putting all that stress on it so I love the elastic band method because like I just said how I can pull it up and it goes right back down and you can't even tell like that's crazy and it's so secure and so snug like, I, I wear wigs because I like to take my hair off and I like to scratch my hair. I like to wash my hair when I want to wash it. I like to do all that stuff. So, I don't want to be tied down to have a sew-in. But with this, it's like I feel the elastic band just changed it so much. Like, where it's so secure that you know it's not going anywhere. If I want to go get in a fight. Well, maybe not a fight. Um... If I wanted to ride a roller coaster, I would feel okay that my wig just wouldn't poom and fly off because it's so secured on my head. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this wig? Hmm. I don't really know what else I could say about it. I love it. It's different. Since I don't really wear color, well, I mean, I wear my natural hair color. I'm tired of saying I don't really wear color hair. I don't really wear colored wigs. I know you can't see my wigs right there, but they're all black in one blonde one. Because I just, you know, I don't know. I'll do whatever to my natural hair, but when it comes to weave, I'm just like, ugh. Because it's such a big investment, you know, when you're going with a color, that's something that you're going to have to stick with. I mean, unless you change it or whatever. But I know I buy a wig. I want it to be personally just I don't want to have to do anything to it I want it to be perfect I want it to be what I want that's why I buy multiple so you know if I'm feeling ooh, I want to have red hair one day boom I can have red hair if I want to have black long straight hair one day boom I can have that if I want to have blonde hair it doesn't matter but I don't buy you know wigs to change them I buy them to keep them how they are so I mean that's the whole point if you're gonna buy anything just like I hate companies that send you basically you go order 26 but you got to cut it up to a 20 because the ends are so bad like i'm paying for these inches now refund me my coins because i'm gonna have to cut them because they're trash you know what i'm saying like you don't want to have to do that you don't want to have to wait feel like you're wasting your money when you just spent it on something i don't know y'all may not understand but it's just a me thing i don't like it so i don't do it but, um, yeah, that's pretty much this hair. I love it. It holds a curl pretty good. When I washed it, it was really, really nice and wavy. And I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't have the patience. I just, I had to do something to it right then and there. I don't have the patience for anything nowadays. And I just had to, no, I'm going to blow your hair. I'm going to curl it. I'm going to blah, 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 blah. But that is basically everything on this hair. And if y'all have any questions or if you like my um, wig reviews, please give it a thumbs up and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. But let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like this color on me? You know, I don't know. Give me your feedback. Thanks for watching, you guys.